is actually of a sweet, amazing model uh, named uh, Montaga. Uh, he's so sweet. Uh, I remember at the time, um, his agent had reached out to me. He's a model. And he, uh, he was in town and they just asked me if I would take a portrait of him. I wanted to be more intentional this time about just taking a portrait. I'm like, how could I just do something that feels more honest to me, more honest to him, something that feels a little bit more poetic. And uh, at the time I was really inspired by Kendrick Lamar, uh, his uh, song Humble. And I just thought, you know, what a cool marriage that would be just to like, just subtly add that in there somewhere. To, you know, the, the lyrics to me, they're just so, they're so poetic and they're so powerful and so, to me, a lot of it was just all about intentionality. You know, I ended up uh, writing the lyrics on a piece of glass, um, right, and that we had right in front of him, which the glass, you know, is I think a lot of times symbolic too of, I think sometimes the faces that, that, that a lot of minority people feel, a lot of people of color feel, you know, and even for myself, you know, I'm uh, Mexican, but I also know my privilege as being, you know, light skin. Um, but to me, I just thought that it would be really important to be intentional in that way and to just um, let those things subtly be um, symbolized. You know, because even with Kendrick Lamar's um, lyrics, you know, how, you know, how they describe, you know, a time or a moment or a feeling, you know, by him, uh, expressing himself, you know, he set so many people free. And so to me, having those lyrics on that piece of glass, you know, it, it sets so many things free. And so, you know, to me, we just took this portrait and the portrait is also very blue. You know, to me, color is really important. And it's funny because, the, you know, blue is often, you know, made to feel like this very sad color, but it could also be powerful. Um, you know, the color of that, you know, the texture of the dirty glass, you know, and, and the writing on there, you know, to me it all, it all felt uh, intentional and very symbolic. And I think at the end of the day, it's one of, it's a favorite picture of mine that I've taken just because it's, it's very powerful in its own way. And um, Montaga really, really delivered. This really amazing woman. She's also a model. Um, her name's Colleen, and we shot that for L'Officiel Russia, which is a fashion magazine. And this picture is actually in black and white, which I love black and white. I mean, I think uh, color in black and white. It's all of, to me. It really doesn't matter. Uh, uh, either I think either work beautifully. It's all about what you want to say. You know, to me, color evokes emotion, whereas black and white evokes soul. It's all you know. To me, it's like it takes away all the noise of color, all the distractions of everything, and it brings you right to that person, right to their soul. And so uh, that editorial we shot actually is really cool because. Um, when we were pitching the the concept, the the theme of the issue for that for that fashion uh, magazine was about age, and I thought, you know, what a cool way would it be to just shoot this woman who's who's grown and aged and has such wisdom, and we just shoot her like we would any other fashion model, and they were all excited about it, and so we got to work with Colleen. Uh, we actually shot this one uh, through a hand mirror, you know, almost like what you'd see with like the Little Mermaid, like looking in a mirror, this like old kind of, you know, Victorian kind of mirror. And she had all these jewels on. And so she kind of had her hand by her face and she was looking through the mirror. And I was so close up that you got all this bokeh from all of the jewelry and all of the background and everything. And to me, it just really felt like this like beautiful, powerful thing. And also just her, again, looking through the mirror and she looked so strong and she looked so confident. You know, it was definitely one of my favorite moments, honestly, getting to work with her. I remember, I think I was, I don't remember how old I was. I think I was in my earlier 20s when I got to work with her and I remember telling her, you know, I, I've always been so excited to turn 30. Like that was like my favorite thing because then it felt like I was grown and I was, you know, grown like her in a way. And, and she had told me, you know, as an older woman, she's like, I have, you know, some advice to give you. And she's like, you know, how, you know, what did she say? She was like, you know, how beautiful is life that we don't just have one moment to look forward to. She's like, you know, it's not about just turning 30, you know, it's about enjoying every part of your life. She's like, enjoy all of it. Enjoy right now, enjoy tomorrow too. So every time I look at that picture, I think about those things that she said and it, it always brings me back. I'm like, all right, enjoy the moment. 
Uh, it's funny because there's uh, an agency out there. I love them so much, Wallflower Management. Um, I've been shooting with them every, I think every year since I was 17. I'll fly out there and we'll do test shoots. And if you don't know what a test shoot is, it's uh, usually for a model's portfolio. Um, if it's a newer model, you know, they just got signed and they need some really strong pictures so that way they'll start getting work, they'll start booking jobs, they'll get big campaigns, you know, whatever it is, just to get the ball rolling for them. And so that picture, uh, we took in Dallas. Uh, the one thing that I actually really love about that picture is that you could take that on your camera. You could also take a similar picture on your phone too because we didn't use any lighting. It was just the sun, natural light. And so with that picture, I think a lot of things, uh, a lot of things kind of all uh, make balance in that picture. You know, one thing that we really loved about about her was that her her natural curls, they're beautiful. And so that looks just, we wanted to have an outfit that really complemented that. She had this kind of sheer uh, trench coat dress kind of situation on. And it really just, it, again, it just felt like balance together. And when we were out in the sun, when she was kind of like waiting for, when we were changing some stuff, I was like, wow, you know, the way that, you know, the, the shimmer of the sheer dress mixed with just like the glow of her skin and her curls, we should shoot her in the sun. And so we just moved her over to the window. It's just a big window. And we just started taking pictures. And I, I think a lot of times uh, what's important when you're shooting in the sun, a lot of times I like to get a low angle so that way the model isn't squinting their eyes or, you know, it uh, doesn't feel too uncomfortable. Cause it can be, you know, especially if it's summertime, it can feel really hot. If you're looking right in the sun, it's, you know, it's not good. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was one of my favorite, fa favorite moments. I love shooting in Dallas. It was this really beautiful close-up. I was really excited to share this one too, just because for me, uh, the face is always just so, uh, is so interesting. You know, to me, whenever I get to shoot a beauty shot or a really close-up shot, I love to get all the details. And actually that shot as well, you know, just like the, um, the shot in the sun, you know, this shot was actually just shot with natural light. We just shot uh, kind of against this like diffused window it was kind of like a foggy kind of window, which kind of would mimic uh, diffusion. And so it was just really soft, bright light. Um, and I just thought that she had just such a beautiful profile. She had great bone structure, beautiful skin. And so I thought, you know what, let's get something super close. Um, to me, composition is really important. That's why I kind of had, you know, her hands. I was like, how can we kind of add little details, but really, you know, drive it forward that it's just all about the face. You know, you, I think, uh, composition, it's all about what you want to share, what you want to show, all the little details. And I think when you, you know, when you get it right, you know, your eyes follow every little detail of a picture. You know, you look at her eyes in this case, you know, you look at her eyes and you look at her bone structure, you look at the, you know, at her lips, you look at her jaw and how strong she is. And, you know, you really just follow all the little details. But yeah, shot with natural light, beautiful time, really amazing.